Meanwhile, the lawyer for Sean Diddy Combs has broken his silence, calling a police raid on the rappers Miami and California homes this week an excessive use of military force and a witch hunt. Diddy has not been arrested, but the rapper and producer is facing a litany of allegations involving sex trafficking and sexual assault. And now more celebrity names are being dragged into the conversation online. It was just two days ago that Homeland Security descended on the Miami and California homes of rapper Sean Diddy Combs. New details have emerged about the raids, including that agents were reportedly authorized to search for documents, phones, computers, and other electronic devices that hold data or videos. Combs is the target of a federal investigation reportedly tied to allegations of sex trafficking and sexual assault detailed in a series of lawsuits filed against the hip hop mogul. Combs has denied the allegations and now he's broken his silence. Combs lawyer saying in a statement the raid was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Officers reportedly detained Combs' two sons during the search and they were released shortly after. Combs lawyer Aaron Dyer goes on to call the raids a witch hunt and an unprecedented ambush with an advanced coordinated media presence. As the raids were going down Monday, Combs was spotted at a Miami airport. New reports say the rapper was briefly stopped by police there and his electronics were seized. He was supposedly getting ready for a spring break vacation with his twin daughters. Combs former bodyguard Gene Deal shared his thoughts online. They used the evidence that they had or the statements they made and convinced the judge that there was enough uh, probable cause to go in there with a search warrant. But the way they did the search warrant and how they did it, I mean, I thought he was El Chapo or somebody. You know, they took a tactical team in there, brother. The raids come as an amended version of a $30 million lawsuit against Combs has been refiled, this time naming actor Cuba Gooding Jr. as a defendant. The actor was mentioned in the original suit filed by Combs producer Rodney Little Rod Jones, but new details in the refiling accuse him of touching, groping, and fondling Jones on his legs, near his groin, and lower back. Gooding Jr. has faced sexual assault cases in the past, pleading guilty to one and settling another. He has not been charged in this case. Several other household names have been brought up online as people dissect the new documents. That includes Prince Harry. The prince is not named in any of the allegations, but rather as an example of the type of high-powered people Combs had access to. But that hasn't stopped people online from sharing images of the two together at a 2007 benefit concert in memory of Harry's mother, Princess Diana. So beautiful. So graceful. So compassionate. So royal. An incredible mother. Make some noise for Princess Diana. The internet has also brought back this unsettling clip of Diddy in a 15-year-old Justin Bieber. He's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Bieber is not named in any of the lawsuits. And people online are also turning their attention to rapper 50 Cent, who is working on a documentary about Combs called Did He Do It? 50 Cent writing online that it's going to break records when it drops, though it doesn't say when.